Let's learn how to create a super awesome repeating pattern in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. I'm starting here with a blank canvas. I'm going to come over to my left hand bar and I'm going to select the shape panel and come down to polygon. Once selected, I can click anywhere on the canvas and I'm going to select the number of sides I want my shape to have. So I'll bring this down to eight for an octagon. Don't worry about the radius, we can adjust that later. Press OK and you'll get your shape here. Remove the fill so I just have a stroke and then I'm going to use Alt and Shift and drag this out just so I have a bigger shape to work with. I can then use my Align Tools, Align to Artboard, Center this. Next thing I want to do then is add a little color to this, kind of bring the stroke to life a bit more. I'm going to select my stroke panel here. I'm just going to bring the weight up on this a little, maybe even align the stroke to center. And then if I come to my gradient panel, then if you can't find this, go to window gradient. What I can do is if I click the gradient slider here, I can now apply a gradient to this stroke. What I like to do from here is then bring up my swatches panel. If you can't find it on the right hand side, go to window swatches. And the nice thing about swatches now, I can save kind of colors here and then I can simply then kind of click and drag them in and I can create different effects and different combinations here. I can control everything then on a stroke slider. You can see the intensity. I can also add new colors to this and create kind of cool different effects. And then if I'm not happy with that, then I can simply click and drag those out. So everything here can be controlled with the gradient slider and you can kind of play around with that as you see fit. Once you're happy with the shape and we've got everything in place, we're gonna to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. This little window will appear here. I'm gonna make sure Scale Stroke and Effects are selected. And then the next thing I'll do then is I'm gonna make this repeating pad a little smaller. So let's set 95 to 95. Let's look at the preview. Yep, that's fine, that's getting smaller. I can then set the number of copies I want this to repeat, so let's say 50. You can see now that's repeating quite nicely. I can bring that number down if I don't want as many in the pattern. If I select a small degree on the rotate angle, so say for example, let's just try six for a preview, you can see now you get this amazing, awesome repeating pattern effect, and you can control all this in here. Once you press okay, you have your pattern here. If you ever wanna go back to that point, you go to Window Appearance, bring up your Appearance panel, and this here will show you everything that's been applied to the shape. Now, if you come down here, you'll see the Transform section here. If I just double uh, click that, I bring back up that Transform box, so I can go back in and make changes to this as such, and then when I'm happy with it then, I can click OK. Finally then, just to kind of really bring this to life, I'm just going to put a black background behind this. Let's select my Rectangle tool, I've created a rectangle. I'm going to apply a black fill to this, right click it, arrange, center back, and then there you have it. I have my awesome looking repeated pattern on a great contrast, looking amazing. And you can do this with any shape, any polygon, play around with the transform effect uh, tool and see what amazing repeating shapes you can make. So there you have it. Super, super simple way to create amazing symmetrical repeating pattern shapes in Illustrator using the transform effect palette and a couple of other tools. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really hope you get a lot from it. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments of any future tutorials you'd like to see on this channel or what you thought of this tutorial. And until next time, keep on designing, keep having fun, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.